Hi, in this video I want to explain what is a gel, how we run the gel and how we read the gel. And today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And before I will uh, show you which answer is correct, I want to give you some theory. And uh, on this picture we see a gel and uh, when we start our experiment we load these wells with fragmented DNA. Usually we fragment DNA by cutting it with enzymes and we cut uh, all the samples. Here, as you see, we have six samples. We cut with the same enzymes, but because uh, we have different mutations, uh, the fragments would be of the different size. So, uh, this is where we begin our experiment by loading uh, fragmented DNA. So, this is going to be a start. And this side would be finish. But unlike in sport, we don't wait until each uh, fragment of DNA would cross the finish line. We just uh, wait um, for some time when all the fragments would separate and they are going to separate depending on the size. So consider the gel to be a substance with small pores and large size molecules would have more uh, difficulty to go through this porous substance and so uh, fragments that is small would travel faster. So the first question is which of the DNA pieces in gel is smallest in size. And by the way, uh, DNA is negatively charged. Uh, this side of the gel would be positively charged and negatively charged DNA would travel in this direction. And here we apply negative charge. So, um, as you now understand the fragment that is smallest would travel faster and longer distance at the same amount of the time uh, if we compare with the other fragment that is going to be larger. Now if we compare uh, fragments A, B, D and E we can see that uh, fragment E traveled uh, the larger distance if we compare with the rest uh, fragments and this also means that this fragment would be smallest. So the correct answer would be E. And uh, this fragment would be largest, heaviest and that's why this fragment travels uh, the smaller distance. So now we can move to the question number two. If well number one is DNA from the crime scene which individual should contact a lawyer. And now we have to compare uh, fragmented DNA uh, of the person number one with uh, fragmented DNA of other samples and each sample represent different person and this is very easy to do we just have to find uh, the person whose DNA also fragmented to four fragments as you see for example uh, here we have one two three four and five fragments but uh, sample number one have four fragments. So uh, also we have to compare not uh, by number of the fragments 
but by the size of the fragments. Because uh, when we cut DNA with the same enzymes, each DNA would have different mutations and this enzyme wouldn't be able to attach to the same places on each uh, DNA sample and would cut each DNA sample at the different um, size fragments. So um, now we can compare uh, the size of the fragments and as you see uh, sample number 4 or person number 4 would have the same fragment uh, number 1 as uh, sample number 1 and um, number 2 fragment would be also of the same size if we compare with uh, uh, sample number 4 but sample number 6 also would have uh, the same band uh, of the same size and we can disregard this um, sample because it miss uh, the fragment number 1 or band, we call this band each band of course made not with one molecule but with millions of molecules so we also use a dye to uh, be able to see it under the ultraviolet uh, where uh, we have such bands so uh, if we uh, proceed to uh, compare the fragments we would see that only sample number 4 would have the same pattern of the fragments and we can come to the conclusion that this is going to be the same person. So this person, number four, have to see his lawyer. And this is going to be our answer, answer C. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.